Okay, lesson three on uh, the six eight rhythms and um, grooves and stuff, the Celtic rhythms. And um, I'm going to uh, show you another one that's uh, kind of tricky, like the, the one we did before that was the down, down, up, up, down, down, up. This one we're going to play down the one, and then we're going to play the four. And then other than that, we're just going to play the ands of all the other beats. So it's going to be, so here's all the beats. One E and, I see, one and two and three and four and five and six. One, four. So if we just do the, the one and four and then the upbeats, it's going to be down, up, 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 down, up. C sharp minor, by the way. <laughs> um, go back to the E. One, four, one, four, one, four. So fast, it sounds like this. slowly. So you've got, uh, actually I'm playing the, the one, um, six, four, five progression. You can hear the, on the down up, down up is going to be one and, four and, one and. So you can kind of find your uh, bearings there, but uh, it's kind of one of those things where you have to feel it. And if, when you're listening to me play, you're often going to hear hear it as the wrong pattern. Um, you're going to hear the beat somewhere it isn't, and you're going to get confused. You're going to start hearing it four, or you might hear it twelve eight, like on the other one. Uh, but this, um, if you start slow, and that's a, the key with pretty much learning anything well is to start slow and do it correctly. And then speed it up. If you if you speed up too soon, and you're still making mistakes, then all you're going to do is is kind of uh, reinforce your mistakes, and you're not going to reinforce the good playing. So um, if you have to go really slow, one and and two, and you can even if you want to, you can count the other notes too. One and two and three and four and notes. One and Now, I could take that, that thinking of the three upstrokes in a row to an extreme, and I could do it for all, the, all of the beats except for the first one. So it would sound like this. So let me see. I have a metronome here. Let me um, pull it up. See if we can get um, the right a good tempo here. Oh wait, no, we don't want sixty. Okay. There's the eighth note.
let me slow this down a little bit. Um, that was 76. I think we'll take it down slowly down to here's 60. Just stay on the E. All down starts one, two, three, four, five, six. Do all the sixteenth notes. So we're going to do them all. But we're going to do both the downstrokes and the upstrokes. Sounds like this: three, four, five, six. It's going to sound twice as fast, but your hand is actually only moving is moving the same rate. It's just now you're hitting the strings on the way up, um, and that's how you get that sound. You got all those sixteenth notes. Now it's just a matter of removing some of them to create different feels. And that's kind of what we've been doing. So um, you can go. Again, you can count it as one, two, and three in, uh, or you can count it and uh, two, two, and three in, or you can go one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and six, and it just sounds weird, but um, uh, let's do the um, let's do the pattern that's uh, two downs and two ups. So we're gonna go one, two, up, up, three, uh, four, five, up, up. So it's like this. And I really would recommend practicing with a metronome. I don't know if you could find one of these. This is I like this one because it's nice and loud. I start strumming, I can't hear it anymore. It's too quiet of a metronome. Okay, I'm gonna go to the new one now where it's down, up, up, or down, up, 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 down, up, up, up. Try that one where it's all the upstrokes except for downbeat. I want one, two. Okay, so let me see if I can think of any others here. Um, so. Oh yeah, this is a great one. Uh, one and, let's see, one and and three, four and and five. So it's down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Slower, it's down, up. Let me go, uh, ooh, let's see if I can get, how slow can I get? Go down on 50, 40. Yeah, pretty slow. Here's 40. One. Turn off the metronome 
and I'm gonna play that fast. So it sounds like this fast. Okay, now I'm gonna speed up the metronome. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it up there, and we're going to. Um, uh, I'm just going to play a bunch of the patterns and just kind of go back and forth. You can just listen, and, and I'll uh, I'll try to be consistent with the chord progression, um, and that way we can uh, you can really concentrate on the the strumming pattern and not so much on the chords I'm playing. Let's see, well, I'm at 85. How fast is that? Slow that down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna play a little softer. So, uh, go a little bit further. Go down to 72. Practice, like I said, practice with a metronome. Practice, get get one groove down, get the other one down, um, then maybe go back and forth between those two, and then get another two down and work on those two and kind of alternate. And I think it's uh, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of songs that kind of go into six eight, so you can you can kind of uh, uh, practice on any of those songs and and uh, and try that. So uh, God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.